So the day has finally come. We've got Final Cut Pro 10 coming to the ARM architecture of the new Max. So we had some huge news yesterday. Apple are gonna be transitioning from Intel chips to their own in-house ARM built processors for the Mac lineup. Now this is huge news because when you transition from one processor to another, all apps have to be essentially recompiled, rebuilt to work well on this new architecture. But these chips already actually exist inside iPhones and iPad Pros. And if you've used an iPad Pro, you'll know how blisteringly fast the iPad Pro is and how well it can work with programs like LumaFusion. So when a friend asked me a few days ago, if Apple do release a MacBook Pro with an ARM processor, would I rush out and buy one? And to be honest, my answer then was no, because I had the Surface Pro X from Windows and that was an ARM-based processor. But the problem was no developers really jumped on board. Even Photoshop isn't still really available for the ARM processor. So it meant that everything was super slow. Even most of Microsoft's own apps didn't have an ARM version of them. I said to my friend, you know, if Apple do this, then it's probably gonna be a few years before Final Cut Pro 10 is available for it. It's gonna be a few years before the Adobe uh, Creative Cloud Suite is available for it. And then we were hit with the news that Final Cut Pro has already been made. It's gonna be ready for day one. And Adobe and Microsoft are already converting and recompiling their apps to work natively with this new chip architecture. And we saw a little demo from Apple and they said using this new architecture, uh, users can play back up to three video streams at full 4K Pro resolution on Apple's A12 processor. Now this is the same processor which is currently in the iPad Pros. So that's pretty amazing. And does it mean, are they gonna be releasing a whole new type of chip for the Mac Pros and the MacBook Pros, which may blow the iPad Pros chips out of the water anyway. Now, one disappointing aspect was that we didn't really get to see a full demo, a live demo, you know, it was a pre-recorded demo. And secondly, they didn't actually mention how much faster at all in any kind of numbers this is compared to the Intel chips. What I would have liked to have seen was say maybe a 25% increase compared to Intel chips or an improvement in render or export time or graphics performance, that kind of thing. So it's got me excited about Final Cut Pro 10 on the ARM processors. So are you excited about this release? Let's say Apple released a new MacBook Pro tomorrow or a new iMac. Would you rush out and get one or do you think you would wait to see how well these apps transition onto the new ARM architecture? Of course, as soon as we have the ability to try this out, we'll put some videos up on the channel, but I think we're gonna be a few months off this at the moment. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon in another video.